Hi everyone, it's Mrs. D with another two minute tutorial. So this time we're going to focus on Microsoft Word. When you do your research papers for language arts, one of the things you have to do is create a bibliography at the end so that you can cite your sources properly. And there are about a thousand rules on just how to cite sources and how to format a bibliography. Microsoft Word makes it so easy for you. So up here we have our tabs, and under our tabs we have what's called the ribbon. In the References tab, we have a section that says Citations and Bibliography. There's only two things you need to worry about, Manage Sources and Bibliography. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to manage your sources. So you click on that. Down here, and right in the middle, you're going to click on New. All the information you get to put in for your bibliography comes straight from the book or the website or the database where you got your information. So we're going to pretend that uh, we found a book, not a book section, but a book, and all of this is usually on the title page or on the copyright page of the book. The author, I'm going to create this fictional book that I wrote. You notice I capitalized properly, but I didn't have to worry about putting the first name last. The title of my book is DF Library 2-Minute Tutorial. And again, capitalization is done properly. I wrote this fictional book this year. Um, it was published in Phoenix, where our school is. The publisher is our school, Desert Foothills. Now the medium is going to be either print or web. And if it's print, it means it's something you can hold in your hand. A book you held in your hand, a, a journal or a newspaper or a magazine that you actually held in your hand. If it's a web, it means you got it off the computer, whether you got it off the internet, whether you got it off of someone's Word document, whether you got it off of a database. If it was on the computer, it's print, or it's web, sorry. So your print or your web is going to be capitalized. Then you click OK. And now we have um, the book in our current list. It also shows up in our master list. And if I wanted to create a new one, and let's say this time I went to a website. Now websites, you want to show all bibliography fields because that's the only way you'd be able to find the field for the URL that you need to put in. Authors, you're generally not going to have on a website. Anything, any information that you're supposed to have but you don't, you leave it blank. The name of the web page, let's say I found a web page about Abraham Lincoln. And the website, that would be the overarching organization that put the web page together. In this case, it was Discovery Channel. The year, you're going to be lucky to find a year on um, a web page. You'll probably never find a month or a day. The year, month, and day accessed, that's simply the day that you went on the computer and found the information. So if I went today and found that website, it would be year 2013, month is January, and today is the 23rd, although that's not necessarily when you're going to be watching the tutorial. The URL is the entire URL. Best thing to do would be copy and paste the information from the address bar in the internet. The medium is going to be, in this case it was on the computer, so it's web. We click OK, and there is our second um, source. However many sources we do, it'll take care of it for us. And I am already over four minutes just showing you how to do this, so I will show you how to create the bibliography in another tutorial. Do 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 do
，对对对对对对对对对对对对对对 ，Time more takes the same room。Tony spinning, spinning. There you go. <laughs>